Hi guys, I'm from 360 Fitness, just doing a short video on the calorie deficit. You need to be into one to burn fat basically, so um, a lot of questions on it. So Ben's going to ask me questions, quick fire questions, I'll give you some answers. Hopefully at the end of it you'll kind of get to gra uh, grips and grasp what it is and be ready to get a deficit. Okay, so what is a calorie deficit and what does it do? Right, so what, what we'll do, the trainers will work out your calories, so you don't really need to know how to work them out in essence. But if we're looking at the average woman, to maintain weight, for example, say she needs to eat 2,000 calories a day, if she's 10 stone, she'll stay 10 stone. Obviously, to gain weight, that's never difficult to do. You have to go on what we call a calorie surplus. So if a woman had eat 3 to 500 calories a day or had big weekends, like some people do, like bottles of wine and you know takeaways and stuff, what will happen is her weight will go up because she's eating too much for her body uh, and then she'd see like 1 to 2 pounds coming on each week, depending on how much she's eating. Um, so what we're looking for is this, the deficit. So what we do from that 2,000 calories, for example, is try and drop, depending on how much you, you exercise and stuff like that, three to 500 calories in a day. Um, and then once you drop that 2,000, say to 1,500, what is happening is only simply, you're burning it off more than you consume. So you're adding exercise for sessions a week, and the fact that you're not eating as much, that is in essence a de deficit. So you're gonna lose weight from that. Um, to go in a little bit more details, what the pound of fat, for example, is 3,500, calories generally for most people so if you're looking, looking off for example to not 500 calories off a day which well, like I said will work out for you your times up by seven that's three and a half thousand calories you basically lost a pound of fat you should lose a pound of fat uh, you've got to remember fat loss is not a linear process it's not one pound one pound one pound or two pounds it, it varies um, and then from there of course if you're losing that weight and then you're adding the exercise as well you should be hopefully able to lose a couple of pounds of fat which is depend on your goal, always a good target to, to work for each week. Okay, do I need to track my calories? Yes, so basically the reason why you have to check your calories is simply there's no way to know. So if, if we're, like, like I said, we're looking at this deficit, 1,500 calories, you can't just guess, and do, unless you're really like uh, informed that you've done it for a long time, you can't just get like an egg and say, right, I know the calories there, because you simply don't. So the best thing to do at the start, um, for the first four to six weeks is weigh your food. You know, it doesn't take that long. The scale is very cheap. You bring the scale where you can take to work or you can prep your meals on the weekend. And then if you know how much, you know, protein, fats, carbs you eat in a day, and you know you're sticking on with them calories, it's like you have to lose weight. So a lot of people are a little bit lazy with it, but it is simple. Like if you track your food, We've, you know, trained hundreds of clients. Um, if you're tracking your food, generally, you will get results. You don't have to track for life. Once you kind of know what you're doing, and generally, if you eat similar foods, you'll know, you'll know kind of what to eat for success. If I eat healthy and overeat, does it matter? Yes. The thing is, if you are in this maintenance phase, so we're talking about 2,000 calories a day, if you eat 2,500, I don't care if you're eating avocado or, or you know, something that's supposed to be salaries or anything, something that's really like in and really like, healthy it's still just too many calories if you're eating nuts or whatever it may be what you think is healthy you're over eating on calories you're in a calorie surplus uh quite simply you're going to put on weight again if i've got a sweet tooth what can i eat um this is a good question because a lot of people are worried about like low fat stuff low calorie stuff all you're trying to use is basically these low calorie things to uh curb your appetite so what I would do personally, if we're in this deficit, we've got one and a half thousand calories a day, you know you've got a sweet tooth before bed, you're sat at home, you're bored, you're looking for the covers, you save yourself one to two hundred calories, and then you can get like low calorie, nowadays popcorn's quite low calorie, you can get like the jellies, the hot the jellies, like five calories, you can get like yogurts and stuff like that. Um, what they will do is, again, just give you a sweet tooth, there's no magic formula, if, again, you eat these, you eat a hundred, you know, these jellies, and you, you go into the surplus from that maintenance phase, you're gonna put on weight. So just be, be aware always, you can save yourself the calories, you can play with them a little bit. What I like to think of as calories is like a budget. So basically, in that budget, you can, obviously you can blow it, you can go on a weekend and eat nothing, and at one and a half thousand calories and have a big like takeaway, for example. That will hit your calories, you will still lose weight eating that, but the problem with that is, you'll be hungry for the rest of the day, um, because it's not got the nutrients and it's obviously it's just one meal. Or you can do the other way where you put them one and a half thousand calories into four, three meals a day. Make sure you're having like chicken breast, like stuff like that, rice, steak, salmon, all that stuff. What you find with that food is it's very high, it basically in protein and good, and good stuff, so, and it's more whole volume, especially like vegetables and stuff. So what you're getting is very minimal calories, but you're getting a lot of volume for your stomach to fill you up.